Welcome. So today I'm going to talk about change of base formula. Now, oftentimes in math you'll probably do stuff that sort of seems like it's pointless. The change of base formula, if you have sort of kept, or your school's kept up with any technology, is sort of useless. I mean, literally it's useless. Um, because of the fact that the technology has already evolved to the point that it's adjusted. But anyway, uh, the reality is if I'm looking at some sort of logarithmic setup, I'm dealing with the, probably anyway, I'm dealing with the idea of raising a base to some power to get some resulting number. So what do I have to raise 2, 2 to get 4? Well, 2 to the second power is 4. Uh, sorry. So I'm raising, so I go say it's 2. So I raise 2 to the second power to get 4. So I have a base and then I have a resulting number. That's kind of what I'm looking for. Now, what the change of base formula or why it exists in the first place is because calculators have a button that says log on it right here. Uh, the problem is that button has a base 10 always. It's just assumed. It's the most common base. We live in a base 10 world. Just adjust to it. Uh, the change of base formula allows me to use that button anyway to still get the correct answer. So say, for instance, I have log of 81 and my result is going to be 27. So what do I have to raise 81 to to get 27? The thing about the change of base formula is it says, well, I don't know, it's not base 10, so you can't just type it into the calculator, but if I know there's a common base between them, I can say, okay, let's just do the division. So I know for a fact that 3 to the 4th power is 81. I also know that 3 to the 3rd power is 27. The convenience of the change of base formula is just I can say, okay, so log base 3 of 27 over log of base 3, 81. So I changed the base on the calculator from base 10 now to base 3. But I don't even need a calculator here because I can just look and say the 27 one would be 3 and the 81 would be 4, so it's 3 fourths. However, the real change of base payoff, I guess, is that if I want to use the base 10, it'll still give me three-fourths, and I'll show you that that's true. Now I should say that individually those numbers are a disaster. Log base 10 for 27 is a really weird number, but I'm going to go ahead and write it in as cleanly as possible. Uh, so let me just erase this other stuff. As you can see, I've been filling with these. Um, so I'm going to make a fraction, and if you have a T84+, plus, if you don't know, it's alpha and then y equals. Fraction menu pops up. Anyway, log of 27. Make sure that the resultant log is on top. And then you want to do the log of 81. You don't even need to close the 27's parentheses. It'll still work as long as you set up as a fraction. Otherwise, it's like a bunch of parentheses, and I hate that. Anyway, hit Enter, and it gives you 0.75, which is, of course, 3 fourths, just like before. So it does work. Why am I complaining about it? I'm complaining about it because newer technology has already adjusted for this you don't have to live in the dark ages. If you have a TI-84 Plus or similar calculator, if you're not using this calculator but you like Casio or something, which makes great calculators by the way, um, and you don't know where the buttons are, look in your manual or search around for it a little bit. I'm sure you'll find it. In the TI-84 Plus, if you go to the math menu and you click down under the math menu, the first column, go down to like the 11th term. It says log and it's a gigantic base which is telling you that log a base something, not 10. Uh, hit enter, and then you can just log in whatever you want. Log in. You can just type in whatever you want. I guess it's logging in, but still, it's just overuse. Log of 81 to 20, uh, with the results 27, 0.75, 3 fourths. Fancy, huh? Uh, so really, the change of base formula, if you thought that the many things that you do in math class are a waste of time. In many cases, as long as your uh, system has caught up with the current technology, this one actually is a waste of time, so you could make a legitimate argument. I wouldn't scream too loud about it, however, because, you know, stay out of trouble whatnot. No reason to scream fire in a crowded theater, that kind of thing. So if I wanted to do one that's not so nice, it's a little squishy, uh, log four. Uh, with a result of 18. So I'm saying, what do I have to raise 4 to to get 18? Well, 4 to the second power, 4 times 4 is 16. Well, 4 to the third power is 64, so it's probably very close to 2, just because 4 to the second power is so close, is much closer than 4 to the third power is to 18. I don't know for sure, 
but with the change of base set up, I would do the log of 18 divided by the log of 4. Now that I have this sweet common base, it all works out nice and dandy. Not that it didn't work out nice and dandy anyway because there's a button for it, but I digress. Um, I'm going to go in. Some of you won't have that button, so you shouldn't be, I mean, you'll be happy th about this, but if you do, you're probably just thinking, well, what's the point? And there isn't one. I'd love to tell you there is. See, it's very close to, it's, I'm going to be very unscientific here and just round it to 2.1. Um, and just be happy with that. But 2.08, it's very close to 2, because it's not much more, but it's way far away than uh, 2 to the, or 4 to the third power. And can I get that same answer using the other way? Absolutely. Go into math, go down to whatever the 11th term is, log base. Type 4 is your base. Uh, 18 is your resulting number. Hit the enter button. 2.08, same thing. So the change of base formula, I'm not in love with it. Uh, I think at one point it was good. And for some of you, I don't want to overplay the idea that everybody has one of these because they don't. So if you don't, change of base formula is great. But for people who have sort of newer stuff, it doesn't have the same cell to it. So I'm not in love with us doing it that much anymore. I wish all the calculators there, you know, even the you know, ones that people can actually afford without having to take out a loan would still offer this information. But they don't all the time, so there it is.